Have you ever thought you were in a rut? The same thing every day, week, or month? It's true. You get in a groove of doing the same thing every day, but is that a rut? It seems like if the outcome is bad, it's called a rut. If the outcome is good, then it's a groove. I'll let you decide which is true of this show. Hello, I'm Jeff Moss, and welcome to All the Right Moves. Once a month on this show, we list the best restaurants of a certain type and show you the top 10. Well, maybe we are in a rut. Or is it a groove? Today, we're going to show you the top 10 restaurants in the Inland Empire of any type. And the list comes from Open Table, based on 400,000 reviews. So this is the Diner's Choice Awards. And I'm not sure if they're in any particular order. And it doesn't really matter. So get ready for some new places to go this weekend. Shokunin and Rancho Cucamonga. To say this place takes fish and turns it into a 13-course meal is an understatement. It's great food turned into an experience. The Cask and Cleaver in Rancho Cucamonga, the place for serious steak and wine lovers. I remember a Cask and Cleaver in Riverside years ago. There was steak and seafood and, of course, wine. And this place has all of that. Sweet Basil Bistro in Big Bear Lake. This is Big Bear's original Italian bistro. It's family owned and operated for more than 15 years. Head up the hill for the skiing or the food. Either way, it's worth the drive. Spoggy's located in Upland. Every day at Spoggy's is a new culinary experience where executive chef and owner Henry Gonzalez dishes up delightful, surprising, and delicious Italian cuisine. They also offer a wide range of steaks and seafood. Speaking of steak, Fleming Steakhouse in Rancho Cucamonga. If you know a Fleming's, I don't need to say anything else. If you don't, go try it for a special occasion and you'll see what I mean. Le Gourmet French Cuisine in Upland. It's a classic French restaurant tucked away in the hills of Upland. And all the French food you love can be found here. Ori Sushi Robato Bar is an authentic Japanese omagasi sushi and robata bar. Central located in Rancho Cucamonga. Robata means sake and Japanese adult beverages. Aimi Pa in Riverside is inspired by the roots and flavors of the Riviera Maya. El Chef Pa brings the food and mixology of Tulum to the Inland Empire. And I'm definitely adding this to my personal list. Canyon's Restaurant is another great steakhouse. They're located in the Saboba Casino, and it's the only restaurant on the list where you can eat and gamble without leaving the building. Eating at restaurants not on our list may be a different type of gambling. Tartan of Redlands, known as the Cheers of Redlands, this establishment was opened in 1964, and it serves great burgers and prime rib. Okay, now you have 10 choices all over the Anon Empire. I think I can eat my way down the list by Christmas. And on that almost too many choices note, that's it for our show. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time on All the Right Moves with Jeff Moss. Thank you.